Hi everyone, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be showing you another original design by me. This cute little handcuffs charm, and you could probably use them for finger cuffs, like they are, they fit my thumbs, but yeah, so these are um, probably great for your little dolls, if you like playing police officer, jail, or whatever you like to play with your little Barbies or something, you can use this. So, let's get started. Your loom will be set up in the staggered configuration so anyone can make this charm and your arrow should, pointing, should be pointing down towards you. You will need your hook and you will need rubber bands. I'm going to be making this one gray just like I did this one. And this is Rainbow Loom brand gray by the way. So, to begin, you're going to take two single rubber bands and go from the center to the left and two rubber bands and go from the center to the right. Then you're going to go down twice on each side. Again using double bands. Okay, so now again taking double you're going to go from the left to the center and the right to the center. So you'll have this circle. So now taking single rubber bands, single by the way, you're going to go down five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And this one I went down five times and it's not really long enough so actually I'm going to be going down six times to make it longer but you can you um, you can make it go down as many times as you want I'm just making this one a little longer than my other one so again this is six times and this one I'm making longer and this one is only five times going down so if you want to make this one just go down five so now let's take double bands again and go from the center to the left, the center to the right, go down twice on each side. And then we're going to go from the left to the center and the right to the center. And this should be your last peg on your loom. So this charm does take up your entire loom. But if you want to make it only five, it won't. So if you did five times down with single, it should be stopped on this peg, not this one. And then on your last peg, you're just going to take a single and you're going to cap it off four times. And that is the only holding rubber band we're going to be doing for this entire charm because we want the hole in the centers of the handcuff part. So now let's begin looping. So we're going to go into the cap band and we're going to get the top two and bring it out to our right. And we're going to go back in and get the top two and bring it to your left. So you'll see teardrops. And then we're going to loop up the left side first. So go on your left, the bottom two, loop up. Then get the bottom two, loop up again, and when you get to these two, loop them to the center. So then we're going to be looping up the right side, so loop up, loop up again. Make sure you see teardrops here. And then again, take that to the center. And now I'm going to hold my loom sideways. For this, you're going to get the bottom single and loop up, and just loop up your singles like our single chain bracelet to make sure you see teardrops. So you've looped up the basic bottom and now we're just going to do the top. And get those top two, bring it out to your right and the next top two, bring it out to your left. And then we're just gonna loop up the left side all the way and take the last two to the center. And now we're going to do the right side and just the same thing as you did the bottom. Take the bottom two, loop up, and now the last two to the center. 
So now we've looped up our entire handcuff. So now we're going to take a single and we're going to be making a slip knot. And the reason I didn't do a slip knot rubber band is otherwise I couldn't have made it as long as I wanted to because we used the last peg. So now we're just going to be making a slip knot with the rubber band that we put on. And make sure you have all those rubber bands in there and pull but not too tight. And then just take it off of your loom. And I'm using the back of my hook but if you have a rainbow loom hook Take it off with your fingers, but be very careful. And I would say this is an easy charm to do. So if you're looking for other easy charms on my channel, um, you can look at my infinity symbol and my awareness ribbon. And when you take it off, it'll look like this. And I actually like this one a lot better than my other one because I made this one longer and I just think it looks better. So then I'm just going to hide my slip knot. And it may take a couple times because this charm is only like singles and like there's no middle to it. So yeah. So yeah, here is my finished handcuff. And it turned out really well. And I, again, I made this one longer and I honestly think it looks better than my other one. They're the same except the center is a little longer. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial on how to make my handcuff charm. And check out other charms on my channel such as my awareness ribbon is a very easy charm and hardly takes any rubber bands. Check out my infinity symbol. Again, um, doesn't take that many rubber bands. Check out my baby rattle, my bell, my pineapple, my muffin charm, and I will probably be posting a tutorial on how to make this chick charm and this bear charm, so let me know down in the comments if you want me to make tutorials on these. So thank you guys so much for watching this video on how to make my handcuff charm. Comment, like, and subscribe, and happy looming.